How can you tell if a house or apartment is for sale in Final Fantasy XIV online? Well, stick with me because I am going to show you and explain things a little bit for you. All right, this is Mystic with Mystic Shepherd Gaming. And so you're curious about buying a house or maybe even an apartment and um, you're not seeing or able to um, you know, fully tell if it's for sale. Well, there's some telltale signs that basically, if, if you're not able to tell, it's probably not for sale. Housing in Final Fantasy XIV is, is rather um, short. Um, there is not as many houses as there are players. There are some that are free company housing and some that are player housing. And, um, you know, the benefits to having um, Free company housing is, is that you can have your own um, apartment inside the free company, you know, if that's something you want to do. I am about to actually take you to the apartments to show you first and explain, um, you know, how you can see open apartments, basically. Um, and the size of the room in apartments, I believe, is pretty much the same size as if you were to, to buy a room in your free company. Maybe a little bit bigger. I, in, in my mind, um, you know, the ones in the apartments are a little bit bigger because you're paying for your own place versus a, for a place inside your free company. I don't know. I could be wrong. It could be some weird thing in my whacked out brain, which is totally possible. So I'm showing you it's at the end of each, each ward has um, an apartment building on, in the same place in each ward. Each ward of like, let's say in Ulda or um, Lavender Beds or, you know, um, that kind of thing. So here I'm showing you, this is, it says rooms, one through 15, 16 through 30. You can see there's people's names there. Some say, you know, some are blue, some are yellow. Basically, that means the ones that are blue, um, see, the one that's yellow says go away. <laughs> um, and the ones that are blue are basically saying, yes, you can come in and check out my place. I'm proud of it and I want you to see it. The other people are like, stay out and stay away. I don't want you in my personal space in this game, you know. So I'm showing you here where it said empty. And I will make sure there's an arrow showing you. It says empty. So those those rooms are available for purchase. And here's the difference between purchasing an apartment room versus purchasing a house or a place inside your free company. When you purchase an apartment for 500,000 gil, it's yours eternally, basically, unless you give it up. And what I mean by that is with housing and, uh, you know, there's, if you're not playing, if you take a break from the game, you will lose your house. You will lose everything inside it. And when you come back, you will have to go to the person like the, um, a caretaker, so to speak, to get your chocobo back to get, um, depending on how long you waited, you could get some of your things back, but you will never see your money back that you put into that house to get the house. You will never see the money back or the, the items. Um, that it took to craft whatever or you know etc so here's the way buy an apartment if you take breaks like I do with games I have a friend though that that is in my free company and it's a free company house so that way he's on and I never up to this point don't lose the house that doesn't mean that he you know he has stopped playing so I'm gonna have to keep my subscription going regardless if I want to take a break or not which I'm not going to because I'm doing YouTube videos on Final Fantasy 14 online so of course I'm not gonna take a break right now but typically you know if you have someone in a free company with you they can help you keep your free company um, but you know it doesn't you know basically if you stop playing you're not going to um, keep your house. The apartment is the best way to go. That way you don't have to worry about relying on someone else and that kind of thing. So here I'm showing you we're in Ulda and I'm at the main ether crystal. And this is another place as long as you've, as long as you've done the quest to see the like the goblet or you know lavender beds, you can access it from the main ether crystal in each of the three main areas. Um, I'm not quite sure yet if they've added any housing to Ishgard or not, so that's why I'm still saying three. But you see here, you know, I'm going Ward 1, Ward 2, Ward 3. No houses are available. If they were available, where the name is, it would show the cost in Gil to purchase that place. That's how you would know. 
And that's again, that's why I say, if you're not able to tell if something's for sale, it's not for sale. Um, because again, housing in Final Fantasy XIV online is short, meaning there is a lack thereof, is how I should put it. Maybe rather than short, there is there is housing, um, there is lacking in housing. So, if you have a chance to purchase um, a place inside of free, your free company, if they have their own, you know, free company house, then I would suggest that as long as you can, you know, get them to guarantee they will never boot you from the free company if you take a break from the game. If you do take a break from the game, might I suggest you actually let your free company leader know um, in advance. That way they can tell their people not to boot you because a lot of them, depending on the size of the free company or the person who runs it or their officers, you know, they clean out, you know, the, the people like every 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, depending. Um, so you would just need to make sure that you either had an email address or if you're on PlayStation like I am, like maybe you're friends with um, the free company leader on PlayStation. Um, you know, just make sure you keep in contact so they don't get rid of you, which in then t in turn would make you lose your place in, you know, in the free company. And it would be the same as if you lost your house. You wouldn't see any of that again. And certainly you couldn't blame them because you left, right? So if you're in contact with them, they're not going to boot you from the free company. You're not going to lose your free company apartment or you buy an apartment in you know each ward again has apartment building and um so outside of that uh you have your personal house if you plan on continuing you know um your playstation or your playstation your final fantasy subscription well then continue it and just make sure you log in once a month if you're still taking a break but um, for me, typically, when I take a break from a game, it's because I'm trying to be able to purchase um, other things or other games, um, you know, so that's when I take a break. Uh, and again, I don't plan on it because I am now doing YouTube videos on this game. So long as there's a video to be made inside this game, which there's tons and tons and tons of content, I will continue with the subscription. So anyway, that is how you can see you're going to the main ether crystal you can actually go outside of each like the goblet lavender beds to the person who, who would ferry you over and you would see the same thing as i just showed you here so you know you would see the exact same thing the only other thing you can do that i haven't showed you that i you know had not intended on showing you is you could run around in each ward and when you see the mini map like where my free company house is that my blue arrow is on in the mini map um, there would be no house first of all here it would be a blank green canvas of grass and that's it there would be nothing more so um, and here's the cool thing, okay, when you have a free company, when you have your house, yes, you can plant plants. And if that's what you want to do to be able to earn money in the game, then that's awesome. You know, but as far as the chocobos go, same thing is available at the apartments. So I hope you found this useful and helpful. Thank you so much for watching my video. Remember to smash that like button, ring the bell to be alerted for future videos or live streams, and hit that subscribe button. Thanks again for watching my video. I hope you have a wonderful day.